Welcome to the Poly demonstration of Raspberry Pi Control AgriBot. So in this version, uh, we have developed the same features like seed so uh, seed sowing and uh, seed dropping along with water. So done by uh, Raspberry Pi 02W. So here this is the Raspberry Pi 02W. So we have interfaced the inputs and outputs to this Raspberry Pi 02W, and it was programmed in Python language, and we have already loaded the OS that is the Raspbian Buster OS inside this 32 GB memory card initially and after that we have installed the required modules like Python and OpenCV all which is sufficient which are required to send the images from this Pi camera which we have placed in front of this uh, robot. Right. So this is going to be the front side of our robot. So we are going to capture the images and we are going to stream the live images to the browser by using uh, Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi inbuilt. And next we are going to control the output modules like two DC motors which are attached to the robot movement forward, backward, left and direction. And that was controlled through this L293D motor driver. And also we are going to control the other two motors. One is a water pumping motor through the uh, electromagnetic relay and the next seed sowing uh, motor so this was controlled through this two electromagnetic relays for the two motors two electromagnetic relays were controlled so the whole system getting power supply from the two different batteries one is the lithium ion battery 3.7 volts which is uh, power supply for the raspberry pi 0 to w and 12 volts 2 amps battery these two are the rechargeable batteries so this is battery pack consists of two 12 volt 1 amp batteries are in parallel so we will get 12 volt 2 amp and from there the output was given to the L293D motor driver directly along with two DC motors through this electromagnetic relays. So here we are going to charge a battery in two ways. One is a solar panel directly by connecting the S at this T or S slot. Here we can see that T or S and also transformer. So if you want to charge a battery by using transformer just by connecting the 230 volts AC input to this power socket and then connect the disconnect the solar panel initially and connect the S, uh, T at this T or S slot then the battery is getting charging so it will be fully charged in a duration of 8 to 10 hours and next if you want to charge the battery of our lithium ion battery so that will be recharged with the help of B type charger so close it you see so here we need to connect this over the slots so like this okay so then there will be light indication when it is blinking the battery is charging when it is continuously on the battery is fully charged after the battery is fully charged you can disconnect this and to make the kit run so we need to on the two power sections one is the usb slot over here so like this and next one more switch is for the dc motors and our water pumping so now let us see the demonstration so connect the solar panel at this TRS slot. So make sure before switching on the gate, the two batteries should be fully charged. That's the first step. And the next step is go to hotspot settings of your phone and change the hotspot settings to project 4962 without any capital letters, without any space. And password should be 129 and AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz band. These three should be important. So check twice before switching on the hotspot. So and also data is also okay now and after that install network analyzer application. So this is the application network analyzer application. Install it from the play store. This application purpose is to get the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. And now connect the USB slot USB cable here and the next after So you can see the one device will be connected over here. So in the hotspot settings. So initially no device is connected. Once the Raspberry Pi successfully booting was done, then we can see right one device was connected over here. And after that, go to network and application and do the scan. So the scan nothing but options, land scan, and do the scan. So there you get the two IP address. One is our phones, another is the Raspberry Pi's. Note on the IP address 192.168.158.121. And after that, go to Google Chrome and enter the IP address which we get from the network analyzer application. And the last we need to add column 5000. The 5000 is the port number. And you can go. 
now right so we got the video streaming directly and now you can on the DC motors power supply right see forward stop backward stop left stop right stop so let us see on the floor so we are filling the water the tanker so let us see that pause now let us see on the floor so forward backward stop and right side so we can see the sea dropping also these two are the sea dropping on below is the on for the sea drop above is the off so you can see that the sea dropping motor rates off and this is a water one you can see the water is coming out from that one backward stop forward stop stop okay right thank you sir say water